Hi there, JD here. Normally I'd be uh, showing you a video on guitar of some sort. This time I'm going to show you a video on automotive. Anyway, I thought this was important because it's a bit of a safety issue, I believe. Um, my wife's Ford Focus uh, Sport ZX3 has some strange wiring uh, or electrical problems on it. So I went to investigate this and I started off by changing the switch underneath the brake. It's a uh, it's basically a switch that controls the back uh, stoplight, so I think it's called a stoplight switch. So I replaced that stoplight light switch and the brake, thinking that the problem that we had would go away. Now the problem was that the cruise control would work sometimes and wouldn't work other times, as well as the um, my neighbor told me that our back our stoplights were permanently on, and, um, and that was strange to me. So I changed that that switch, thinking that solved the problem. Well, it solved it for a little while. Uh, $28 later, my car mechanic told me I'd done a great job changing the switch. I said, thanks a lot. Um, so that was $28 that I just flushed down the toilet. Uh, so a couple days later, the problem was back again. So I uh, ended up looking at the uh, tail light section, thinking maybe a bulb went. So I uh, took the tail light section off of the Ford Focus. Uh, it's a little bit of a job to do that, but it's got five bulbs in it. I looked at each bulb, I put a meter on each bulb to see if it was uh, working or not. All five bulbs uh, were working, put the tail light back. As I was closing the hatch, um, I noticed the back stop light flickered. So I said, oh, okay, there's a problem here. So as you can see in this picture, this is where the, uh, this is the back hatch, and this is where a boot is. The boot is covering a wire car uh, cable harness, and the cable harness has got cables to the rear uh, locking latch. It's got cables to the uh, stoplight as well. Um, and also in this cable harness, uh, they've wrapped and are included the, uh, the windshield washer for the rear uh, window in there. So if the pipe breaks or the tube breaks for the windshield washer, then you're going to get spray all over your wires. So this is where the location is in this picture. Now the second picture I'm showing you here is the uh, a picture of the the boot, which is a accordion sort of boot that, that carries the wire harness from the car to the back hatch. And as you can see, the wires are, are frayed. Uh, some wires are frayed. Uh, there's some chaffing on the out, outer uh, layer of the wire, and the wires are basically bare. So, um, so this picture here that you're seeing is a picture of all of the bare wires. I opened that up, and I was, oh my god, now I know what the problem was. Um, this could have been pretty, uh, pretty dangerous because um, your brake light is continuously on when these, when the wire, certain wires here are touching. Um, there is a broken wire, and that broken wire was in fact the, uh, the back hatch wire, I believe. Um, so I went ahead and I uh, repaired this. A simple repair here was to use a tie wrap to hold the boot back that you see in this picture, and then take each individual wire and retape it. So you're basically putting a cover on each wire again. Now I use black duct tape, right, which uh, army guys call it gun tape. Um, it, sti it sticks a lot better. What I did was I wrapped the tape around the wire once and then sealed it in and then cut the leftovers off. This way, if I needed to get back at that wire again, I could just cut it deeper and the wire would expose itself. Then I taped each one of the wires, and the wire that you see broken there, I resoldered that wire with a with another wire in the middle, sort of uh, bridging it, um, and then I taped it, and then I taped the whole wire harness around um, with black uh, duct tape because that stuff does not come off. It's a man's best friend, as we all know. Um, and then I put the boot assembly back in, and it's it's a little snug to do this, but I I worked the boot back onto the rubber uh, grommet that uh, grommet that's part of it, and then shoved it back in. So that repaired it. I was a little bit upset that uh, this wouldn't be a recall in the car. It's a 2004 Ford Focus, but it's in very, very good condition. Uh, it should have been a recall. Uh, this is a, a poor design. Perhaps they've redesigned this in the new Fords. But uh, if you're having electrical issues uh, where the cruise control is not working, the back stop light seems to be causing uh, issues or anything of, that, anything of that nature. Also, battery drains as well. It killed the battery on me. So it, it will drain the battery if certain wires are touching. Um, then have that looked at right away to make sure you don't have a similar problem. So that's my advice to you. Uh, normally it's a music video. I, I, 
think this would probably be classified as a, a blues kind of song. So anyway, I believe it's repaired. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Thanks, bye.